I love a company that brings a product to market, but they don't just bring it to sell because they had some crazy idea in their head. They actually developed it in-house for their own products. And that's what I'm here to talk to my buddy Kirk about is these VRT spindles here on MTD CNC. Let's get into it. Now, I've, we've got some beautiful parts there. We're gonna put it nice and close up for the people watching on screen. But what kind of options? Are we just talking standard straight drive tools or do you have some options here for us? Yeah, no, we have, uh, you know, obviously standard straight is our, you know, initial product, our standard product. Uh, we do offer variants of the standard straight where you can see here, uh, we have a standard straight with a right angle head attachment. And we also have a dual spindle option um, with a single machine connection. Um, you know, our, our, our right angle head is offered with a uh, integrated curved coupling uh, that's pneumatic driven. It allows you to index in seven and a half degree increments around a 360 degree arc. And um, so the way that would operate is um, it's normal open. There's a spring return and it all uses a pneumatic piston inside to engage the curved coupling. Okay, so the way that you would do so to, to index it is use an M19 spindle orient yep. with you know your set value to re rotate the, the number of degrees you want to go. All right, so the spindle orient is not incredibly accurate and that's where the coupling comes in to give you the accuracy you're looking for. You know, you dial that thing into you know your z your 0 degree essentially wherever you want that to be. If you're drilling say you're drilling holes on an ID four holes on a 90 degree pattern, right? Yeah. So you're going to you know set your zero and you're going to index whatever your p-value is to the next uh, rotation, and that's going to get you within eh, maybe plus or minus half a degree or something. Now we're going to engage that coupling, and that's going to give you, you know, plus or minus seconds opposed to, you know, minutes or half degrees or so. Um, and so it's the same function, the same operation on our dual spindle option, um, exact same way. You know, there's a pin that comes into a bushing on our air coupling, and that's what holds the spindle itself from moving and also holds your, your location accuracy. I like accuracy. The machinists out there love having accuracy versus just relying on that M19. I also notice you've got a dual spindle option. What's the deal with that? Yeah, so that is still kind of in um, a prototyping phase right now. Um, something that we want to offer. There's a lot of companies out there that do a lot of uh, high volume engraving and things like that. And so one of the areas that I'm really seeing a huge opportunity for this is, you know, if you do something like that and you've got limited floor space, but I need more capacity. Yeah. This is two milling spindles in one. And not only two milling spindles, but they are also independently adjustable from each other. Really? Yes. So you can run one at 40,000 RPM, you can run one at 20,000 RPM. And why would I do that? You can use it as a tool changer if you want to. Okay. So you could have two separate tools on each side and use your M19 with 180 degree, you know, orient, re-engage your coupling, and now you're machining with a different tool if that's what you wanted to do. Um, you know, just if you start thinking in your creative mind, you know, we're all machinists, we're all creators here, you can come up with some really uh, interesting things oh. you can do with these. Grinding, we have people that grind with these, you know. Get out of here. I'm dead serious. Uh that's all i like hearing about different products like that ah oh, that's so awesome and it, what's that fancy looking kit over there uh, so this is uh, exactly how you would receive um, a spindle from us put them in a hard-sided plastic case um, i don't want to send you something and then have to fight with the shipping companies of how it got damaged it wasn't properly packaged or whatever you know we want to make sure you're getting what you want and it's going to go in your machine and it's going to run right now you know time is money mm -hmm. and if no, you know, UPS or whoever, freight companies, they'll, they will ensure the value of the product, but they don't ensure your downtime. They don't ensure my downtime to replace it. So, you know, we, we spend the extra money. We give you a hard-sided plastic case. We 3D print pl uh, plastic dividers for all of the components that come in the case. So you'll receive a spindle, um, and the spindle will have whatever machine side connection you want. Uh, we do 30, 40, 50 taper in CAT and BT which you have, you know, we, we can see sitting right here. Um, so it'll come attached to the spindle. It'll come attached with uh, you know, dynamic balancing, um, TIR of less than two tenths. That's our, that's our standard. Um, we have our uh, air coupling. 
that mounts to the machine, uh, the machine block, where you you know you would mount any other machine block on your spindle. Um, our standard machine block or air coupling is made for a Haas spindle, yep. as that's kind of you know, we we have to pick some sort of standard. And um, when you start talking about job shops with spindles that don't usually go over twelve thousand RPM. There you there, go. There's a lot of hosses usually. Yeah, you know, if I go like if I go with a Kitamura, you can get 20, 25k out of those guys almost all day. Yeah. Haas, Haas does offer that option, but it's not widely used. So that's kind of why we went that route. But what's important to know is we can adapt these to any machine tool manufacturer out there. Um, just have a, uh, a layout of your spindle nose. We can make an adapter. Okay, so yeah. you know, it comes with that. Um, the one thing we do have to do is we do have to um, wire in a couple uh, solenoids yep. to your electrical cabinet. And where we wire those into is in your user-defined M-code relays. Oh, okay. And that's how we fire this thing. That's how we turn it on. That's how we turn it off. So I don't need someone over here running switches, nothing like that. Nope. You can do it all through the machine control. Yep, yep. and 100% okay. absolutely tool changeable and everything like that. Um, so you do have to put that in and then you have to run an airline up through your cable track. Yep. In, into your uh, into the air coupling. Um, so with that, there's a timer. And what sets our product apart from almost any, anything I've seen on the market yet is when you run 40,000 RPM in anything, you're gonna you're, you're going to go through bearings. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing any anybody can say of like, oh, ours is lifetime. It doesn't, that's not true. You replace wheel bearings in cars and you're not even coming close to 40,000 RPM. Yeah. You know, your uh, camshaft bearings or your, your um, crankshaft bearings, 5,000 RPM max. Yeah. And if you go faster than that, you're going to have some serious problems, right? So um, anyway, what accelerates, you know, uh, the, the wear of the bearings and things like that and other compo internal components is contaminants. Yeah. Okay, so you got these spindle speeders that run on through spindle air, through spindle coolant. The through spindle coolant one was always... Uh, uh, ironic to me because you're blowing cutting fluid through bearings, right? I mean, that's what coolant is. Okay, so what we do is we have a timer that's set on our uh, air coupling that it blows that interface off before it engages. Now, you know, it may be looked at as insignificant, but if you're tool changing this, you know, let's say you're tool changing it 20, 30 times a day. Yeah. Every time you do it, you're reintroducing more contaminants into your bearings, right? So we want to blow that thing off every time. You can adjust it from zero to 10 seconds. Um, and that just helps keep your bearings clean and, uh, you know, increase your life. You know, some of our customers see 12 to 18 months out of these bearings at relatively high usage. Um, so, you know, there's other things that come into play there. We've got air quality. Uh, is it clean? Is it dry? Yeah. Are you cutting electrodes? Obviously cutting a lot of graphite, it's gonna impact your bearing life. Okay, so that all comes there. And then the other thing we, we obviously sell it with the wrenches, it's an ER11 collet. So we sell it with wrenches to tighten, loosen and tighten. And um, we sell it with a laser tack. Okay, so all of our spindles have an internal regulator. It's where the, that's where the name variable regulated turbine comes from. Okay. We can adjust the spindle speed from 15,000 RPM to 40,000 RPM. Okay, but how complicated is that? <clears throat> it's extremely easy. So there's a detent on the front of the spindle. Sorry, on the front of the spindle, you push the detent, you turn the nut, and it adjusts the regulator inside. Oh. That simple. And we sell it with a laser tack because accuracy is our world, right? You guys, you're going to want to know how fast this thing's going. So we sell it with a laser tack, you adjust your spindle speed, you measure your RPM, you know exactly what you're doing. There's not any guesswork. Yeah, so I know whatever it's set to, I can run the tack on it. I know in my cam software, whatever I program with, I'm going to be able to have real world validation of that. I don't have to crisscross my fingers and hope and wait for the machine to start cutting. I'm going to be able to check the tack and know. I've done this long enough that I don't do anything on a hope. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's always based on fact, and that's exactly what this is. It's, it's based on fact. And um, so that you know, that's the standard kit uh, that comes with everything. We also fully repair, service, maintain these things. Yeah, and, and for those watching out there, we've got a separate video that dives into sure. all of the work that you put into that. It's really nice. You guys gotta make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And the uh, and the two axis lathe with the live tool 40,000 RPM spindle. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, because if they've got a lathe out there and yep. they want a high spindle, 
speed, something over even that 6K that comes by default on yep. a lot of live tool yep. days. There's a video to show them about that absolutely. too. Yeah. Yeah, so that's very cool. Thank you so much, Kurt. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Arthur.